have here three glow sticks and three beakers of water, as I said. Uh, to my right, your left is the hot. To my left, your right is the cold. And the middle one, of course, is just room temperature water. And uh, the glow sticks, we'll try to get them all started here uh, near simultaneously. But how do you start a glow stick? Crack it. And to crack it, you bend it, break it in half, and what happens is inside there, there is a breakable tube. Usually it's a brittle plastic, sometimes it is a glass inside there that holds one liquid, and on the outside is a second liquid. In fact, if you have a glow stick and you look very closely, I doubt it's visible to you here, but there is a inner tube there that kind of sticks up, and then the outer tube. And they're filled with different liquids. And the orders don't really matter, but usually what's on the inside one is a hydrogen peroxide, maybe a little bit stronger than what you could normally buy in the store. And the outer one is something called a uh, something oxalate ester, if I remember correctly, uh, and a fluorescent dye. Uh, the exact chemicals uh, don't matter as much as much as just seeing what they do here. Um, and so uh, when you crack it, you allow those two liquids to mix, and when they mix then, we get our characteristic glow. So, I'm going to break the other two here so they glow, get going as well. You shake it up to make sure they mix completely, and there we go. So, they're all glowing about the same brightness, as you can see, um, uh, once the reaction starts. And what I'm going to do is plop each one of them into the different beakers. And I want you to just observe what happens as they sit in those beakers. I won't move the room temperature one around much. We could call that our control in our experiment here, the one that we leave unchanged to compare to the others. Unchanged, you might think, would be leaving it out here in the air, but since we're putting the others into a liquid to heat them up or cool them down, we'll toss this one into room temperature li liquid. It's the least amount of change possible. And already, you should begin to notice a difference between the two. And if I pull them out here for you to see, you might one notice a bit of a... There's a difference in brightness here. And so, after leaving it sit here for just another moment, you can see a little more noticeable now. One is noticeably brighter and one is noticeably dimmer. And if we pull out the room temperature one, compare it to the others, see a difference. So, what's happened to the one in hot? Very bright. Brighter, and the one in the cold? Dimmer. Dimmer just a little bit. It's not a huge effect, and part of that's because the difference between the room temperature water and the cold water here is less than the difference between the room temperature and the hot water. Now, it's possible that this is some fluke of the glow sticks, that, yeah, they are all glowing the same brightness, but maybe there's something crazy going on with the glow sticks. So, how do we test that? Switch them. So, we're going to attempt to switch them and see what 